pitcher and the freshman Eric Schoenrock as the Tigers again improved to nine and four on the season. Uh, first of all, Eric, first start as a true freshman. Uh, you've had a couple of re relief outings. Tell me about the start this afternoon. I was glad to know. Uh, I found out this past uh, Thursday I was going to start, so I mean it was good getting preparation in for that and. Uh, it was good getting out there. I feel more comfortable as a starter. I'm still getting used to relieving and stuff, but uh, it was good today. We've seen that with some pitchers in the past. Neil Sheen started out as a starter his freshman year. He moved to a reliever, ended up doing good enough to get drafted and still playing pro ball. How, how different is that? Because as a starter, you kind of pace yourself as a reliever. you got to do it right then. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's all about getting on a routine when you're a starter, too, because you can, you can prepare all week for that one day. You don't know a reliever. You don't know when you're throwing and stuff. So, uh, I mean, it, yeah, I like doing both. I'm still getting used to relieving. I guess this may have been a big start for you, too, as far as the season goes, because I know we're still searching to find a consistent midweek starter, a Tuesday and Wednesday, yeah. especially when we get into the rotation of Tuesday and Wednesday. How big was this? For you, maybe to find one of those midweek spots. Uh, that'd, that'd be great if that can if that can happen. It's whatever whatever's best for the team. Um, I mean, Heath, he's Heath and Dane have gotten some midweek starts, and they they've done well in there. So I mean, whoever, it's whoever can get the job done that day. So. All right. Well, well, tell us about your first start at Memphis because uh, uh, you're, obviously you're going to be the head coach, and this is uh, you've been here seven years now. You kind of grew up uh, in Starkville a little bit when, when your dad was coaching with, with Coach Paul down there, but you've grown up a lot with this Memphis program, uh, running around the stands, and now getting to, to take them out at FedEx Park. Yeah, it's, it's been awesome just seeing the growth of this program over the last six or seven years, and uh, finally can be a part of it. It's awesome getting out there. So hey, you, you can explain to the the current players too more than anyone else. You you ran around the ballpark before the renovation. Before oh, yeah. the grounds crew, before the scoreboards, you, you've seen it really transform. It's got to be neat to, to get out there and look at the the new ballpark, the scoreboard, yeah. the, the way the field is, and just everything surrounding the program. Oh yeah, it's it's awesome. I mean, I, I've seen this program grow from where it was to where it is now, and it's just it's just amazing how far it's come and stuff. And it's, it's just great being out there and uh, being a part of it now. So. He came from a pretty good Tigerville <laughs> High School program as well. Yes, sir. Uh, Coach Hop's done a good job with that program. He helped me out a lot. I grew a lot. While I was there, and uh, I just I mean, it's been good. Uh, but back to your start, real quick before we let you go. Three innings, six hits, no runs, no walks, four strikeouts. I know probably a few more hits than you want to give up, but as your your dad's always preaching in, in pregame meetings, don't give up the freebies. You didn't yeah. hit a batter, you didn't walk a guy. The defense didn't make an error behind you. That allowed you to go three shutout innings. Yeah, and that's been my biggest thing uh, in the past has been uh, my command. But I mean, I had it today. I was up in the zone a little bit. That's when they got me. And they were hitting it, but. Uh, other than that, I was pretty happy with, with my performance. So. All right. Well, Eric, congratulations. Thank you.